I've been going through the internet looking for different pickup artists because God, I've been obsessed ever since going, we've gone through this. Doctor Fingers. <laughs> that's, that's that's the uh, Alpha Show. <coughs> I love that one. Uh, well, we have a new one. Uh, this gentleman is a travel bum. Okay. So he's another sex tourist. I'm getting a sex tourist vibe already. He's a sex tourist. Of course he is. And um, again, you're not, none of this counts when you go, like any of the things that you can't get in America, if you can't get them in America, then it doesn't count. There, I could go to Eastern Europe and live in a country right now and drive a brand new Mercedes and have women carrying me around on those so the old things that the pharaohs used to go on a flat board. and WrestleMania it's, and Caesar's Palace and have hoes feeding me grapes, and I could live in a palace for like five hundred a month. That doesn't make me cool. I can't make a YouTube video and go, "Hey, look at all you losers in L.A. Check out my lifestyle." And it's like, yeah, but you're in Minsk. Like, there's no, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> or the video we watched with the black dudes in Cuba that were get buying sex for T-shirts. <laughs> exactly. Remember that? Like you're living in the fucking in the Chernobyl non-exclusion zone. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, of course you're living like a king out there. There's nobody there. Just... Well, the title of this video is Silent Pickup, the greatest pickup of all time. Mm. Is he just going to stare at the girl the whole time? That would be great. He just sits down and goes. <laughs> and he's like, she's like, what do you do? Shh. I'm going to will you into fucking me. The greatest pickup of all time. It's not the greatest time. mic of all time. Stop. No way he just walked up to a girl and did that. It was in Barcelona. And that's clearly not a woman who's been hired for this. That's clearly not a woman. But Mike. That's clearly not a high-end escort that they hired for this video. And also, are we even pretending that Sam Tripoli over here could just pull this off like that? But, like, let's stop pretending. No, let, forget the fact that he's schlubby looking. If you're a really good-looking young guy with a lot of game and you just walk up to a bitch and do this, you're, still going, work. you're going to jail. Yeah. You can't do this. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. And I've seen, you know, the rapid escalation and everything, but I've never seen this. I never. Oh, rapid es so they Okay, so, so the pickup artist thing, of researching this is great. They have a terms, like different terms that they okay. use. Rapid escalation is one of them, where you, you, you quickly, like you work it so well that you, you, know, you go from just talking to them to your finger banging them in an alley. So that's what rapid escalation is. Oh, okay. I, was, I always referred to that as uh, sexual assault. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> different, you know, different terms for different people, really. It's the thing that I know that, you know. Okay, I have to point something out and bet you didn't notice this. What's wrong with his ear? Oof. And that's not cauliflower ear, because cauliflower would be up here. It's like he has no hole. Right? It looks like an ear on an action figure. Yeah. Right? Look Does at it not that, look like look it looks ear. exactly like an ear on like a WWE action figure? <laughs> huh. That'd be great if every video is in me like. Hi, I uh, couldn't help but notice you over there, and I wanted to come say, well, what's wrong with your ear, what's dude? What's wrong with your ear, man? I wonder how many videos are on the editing room floor of women just going, dude, what's up with your fucking ear? <laughs> but, but seriously, how does sound get into it? It, it <laughs> vibrates through it. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's like you ever see like the um, like spiders or like flies have like antenna, mm -hmm. and the antenna actually... Um, pick up sounds. Polly Sung says he looks like the texture didn't load right for his ear. Yeah, like an Oblivion character. A, a fucking cyberpunk. Like you, like you put a bad mod in it or something. Yeah. Well, Mike, I always download the realistic ears mod from maybe, Nexus Mods. Maybe he's like the ear equivalent of Daredevil. Yeah. <clears throat> That's the, the next level for any for any coach out there. <laughs> coach. So because uh, it's called Travel Bum Coach Coaching dot com. And can who's fucking this black guy? Because he seems like a fucking nerd. Uh, Mike, can you do me a favor and go to Travel Bum Coaching and just let me know how much these packages cost? <sighs> Stupid coaching. Stop buying it's these. Curious what the package cost. I'll play a little bit more while you let me know. Next level of any coach. In seeing you do that, it was just a revelation for me. It's been a revelation being with this man. 
for some reason I thought Barcelona was going to give oh me boy. like this amazing. Hmm? Oh, no, it's still not loading. Oh, okay. it's it's taking this long to load. You know what it is? Too many people. That's what it is. I bet overloading the server. Uh, oh my gosh! Is it good? First of all, it took forever to load. So I'm thinking maybe it's like a lot of stuff on the site, but it's a WordPress basic template site. So that's no nice. reason it should nice. be taken this long. Uh, let's see workshops. Oh, he has workshops. Yeah, he's got upcoming workshops. Yeah. What's his next one? It's not the what's, it's the where's. Okay, where's his next workshop? <laughs> it's got such a basic <laughs> Kiev, Prague, and Barcelona, and Odessa. So it's all these. Wait, I'm sorry. And then Odessa? <laughs> yeah, it's all these. <clears throat> it's all these like Eastern European, like just hell holes where, they, where the exchange rate is outrageous. I, I love these videos. Like, you know, I like Bald and Bankrupt because he does, like, he does the whole travel around and do it on a budget thing and show you. But, like, his, all his videos are like, I'm going to show you cool stuff. Check out this old Soviet statue. I'm going to eat borscht in a fucking cafe in some shithole. Like, his shit's cool because you're like, oh, this is a real right, travel right. blog. But, like, these, the and he has a hot chick girlfriend that's, like, fucking outrageously hot for him. But like, but it's the same girlfriend. It's been around for years. These guys literally just travel and go, I will give you money for sex. And then they go on YouTube and they go, bro, look at all this pussy I'm pulling. <laughs> it's unbelievably fucking scummy. And do you notice something about this? He's trying to look as, as like cool as po and handsome as possible in this, like with the far away. He looks like an oh, yeah. album cover. Yeah. Yeah, he really does. He looks like every, honestly, he looks like every EDM album cover from like 2010 to 2015. Every, like, every Calvin Harris esque artist did this. Uh, 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 who was the one that died? Zane or whatever? No, no, Zane's still up. There's the one guy that died. Uh, uh, but the, all these EDM DJs had album covers like this for like five years straight with were like Avicii? Oh, yeah. Think of Avicii? Avicii, yeah, Avicii. I was trying to think of one yeah. that Avicii, Avicii. That was the one that yeah. died. But like they all had those like, yeah, bro, like like I want to get a shot of me, but like not during the party, right? I want like after the party, you know, when I'm like looking really somber, you know, and we're gonna call the album after the party. Volume two. No, the after party. No, and in, in parentheses, the after party. <laughs> Amazing woman this time, but I felt like it gave me you in a way that it gave me you. It's very what? gay sounding. It uh, allowed me to see these insights because I don't. I'm more attractive now than I've ever been, and it's because. Oh, I'm more... good news, Royce! I yes. found how much it's got. How much is it? It's probably cheap. Travel bomb coaching. It's a 13 day workshop. To two weeks. Two weeks. Three to four hours per day, plus extra activities. A Zen meditation retreat. Oh, thank God. Uh, Non-duality. I don't know what that means. Well, that means no dualities. I'll fucking kill you. Private shadow work? Oh, I guess they follow you. And... <laughs> you imagine you're hitting on a girl, and there's a guy right behind you going like... Is this... Uh -huh. Yeah, what are you, training to be a waiter? Uh -huh. <laughs> Hi, this is Royce. He'll be training with us today. I'm just here to help. <laughs> Tell, remember to tell them about the soups. <laughs> we have that new soup. Make sure you tell them. It's it is. Oh, you didn't ask me how much, Royce. Oh, how much, Mike? Does anyone have? Do you want to take guesses? Does anyone have sixty three hundred dollars laying around? <laughs> Not on me. I don't have it on me. Sixty three hundred dollars. Sixty three hundred. Does that include fucking airfare in a hotel? And I would feel so bad because you know this guy's not pulling large groups. So. No, nah, he has 14,000 subscribers. So this guy, imagine being like, because nobody, I guarantee you he's had no customers, but imagine being like the one nerd that pays 63. By the way, you pay 6,300 and then you have to fly to Odessa. <laughs> so imagine getting to Odessa. Which, by the way, it would be funny if it was just Odessa, Florida. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, that's or cool. Odessa, yeah. Texas. Um, but then you get, imagine going there, right? And you paid the 6300 and you fly, which that's another like fucking 1200 of flying mm -hmm. all over. You get to Odessa, you get your, you do all this, right? And then you show up and realize you're like the only guy there. Imagine the feeling of knowing like. Well, that's the black guy. I guarantee you. That's I've what happened had, to him. Oh, he's one of the marks. Yeah, because he's the one, he's the one that said, oh, you changed my life and stuff.
these insights because I don't. I'm more attractive now than I've ever been, and it's because mm. I'm more me. How bad? How fucked up were you before? You must have been a fucking mess. Stefan Raquel? He put him in that machine where Urkel turned cool. Oh, that's right. Yeah. It just and turned I, his white tank top into a black tank top. That's all it did. That's it. That's all. It'll be a practice for me for life. The greatest. Oh, my God. Pickup of all time. What does that even mean? The greatest pickup. By the way, time. does anybody fall for that anymore? Like, do women still fall for the... The negging and stuff? Not the negging, but like the fake sincere guy. Oh, yeah. The guy that like talks like this and like does like the really, really robotic brushing the hair out of the ear, like the soft tones and the like eye contact and the thing. Like all these gimmicks that these guys have come up with. Do women fall for that shit? Because like I know in movies it happens, but like. You know, the, like the guy will run off, like the chick will run off with some Zen dude who's like cartoonishly weird. But like the guy's always like, they always cast like a Matthew McConaughey, where at least it makes sense. Like an Idris Elba, course, where you're yeah. like, well, she's probably just going to go fuck that guy. But these guys do it. And these guys are just average Joes that are like, I want you to, I want you to really like look me in my eyes as we get in Zen. Like, like, does anybody buy that shit? This looks like Crowder. I'm going to. You change my mind. Because <laughs> you've seen everything, right? You've seen every kind of approach. I'm sorry, can you speak up? This is what I mean, though. This is what they do. Like, because they'll tell you, like, it's part of the program. And you talk like this. It's in a non-threatening. Like, women women love when you talk like No, women don't. What? Women do not enjoy having to go, what? Can you speak what? up, you huh? Say, huh? Are you mumbling? <laughs> You've seen every kind of pickup line, every kind of story memorized to impress a girl. Uh -huh. But if there were such a thing as the greatest pickup of all time, wouldn't it have to be something totally other, a totally different language and physics of what we're used to? What? With no technique. Ugh. It would have to be something universal. Something un Oh, this dude's into fucking crystals. I can already tell you. Yeah, well, it's he's part no, but it's but he's not even probably into it. It's just part of his gimmick. Like yeah. I guarantee he probably lives it so that it seems real, but this is all part of his gimmick. Zen guy. Underlying the way that we speak. Something underlying the way that we interact. Something timeless. And where would you start? For such a thing. Where would you start? A silent pickup. Here we go. Here it is. I already scrolled through the comments and there's a lot of people saying like this is totally staged. This it's so absolutely fake. staged. Stop. Yeah, that's not that would what? Not, that's not that's what who's falling for this? What? Who's Stop. Falling, who's falling for who's who's watching this video and going, that's totally real. Can you imagine what? But let's say it was real. But let's let, let's play in this make believe world. Walking up to a woman and going, "Stop!" Well, yeah. I mean, I could imagine not if I was trying to, uh, not if I was courting them. <laughs> I could imagine doing that to just be obnoxious to some yeah. woman. Um, but it, this is why I said in the beginning. I already knew where this was going when they showed this. Even if you're fucking gorgeous, even if you're an Adonis walking around with abs and just looking like a young Brad Pitt and you go up to a girl and do that, they're going to scream and call the police. Like you can't go up to a chick and touch her face who you don't know. Stop. This is the best. She's also clearly a hooker. Yeah. She's clearly a high end hooker that he hired and was like, just be on my YouTube video. This is the best. People people would never know what this means. This wouldn't work. In any no guy for no guy would this work. This wouldn't work for a famous guy. This wouldn't work for fucking dude. This wouldn't work for the like who's who's like a famous guy now that chicks like I don't even watch it. Jason Momoa. This wouldn't do if Jason Momoa did this, 
You know what the girl would do? The girl would go home and be talking to her girlfriends, and she'd go, you know the weirdest fucking thing happened to me today? Jason Momoa walked up to me. He's a fucking weirdo. <laughs> You're right. I'm intentionally mirroring her body language, standing to the side. What would happen is they would walk around you and keep walking. Yeah, they would go, don't ever touch me again. Who are you? Now I face her, taking her hand, increasing emotional impact, my intent and expression. I'm sorry. Can we see the fucking comments on this? Sure. Uh, I'm quite skeptical about this. It doesn't look realistic. <laughs> Bro, that was BS. People believe in this stuff in the comment section. Must <laughs> okay, be so good, desperate. good, good, good. Um, like, what the fuck? Y'all been walking up to chicks and silently staring at them? This got to be fake or like a paid actor. I don't know if women are different in Barcelona, but if you try this in the U.S., you'll be uh, a stalking a creepy I weirdo. how much he paid her. I, dude, nobody's buying. Okay, good, good. Nobody's buying this. Because, like, sometimes I'll look at the comments and it breaks my heart. Like, I'm sure you've had the same thing where you read the comments and you go, oh, my God, why are people falling for this? But... This kind of uh, makes me feel better to see so many people going, that's bullshit. I'm still trying to figure out what hippie Dan Blitzerian is talking about. It's going way over my head, and I'm a pretty intelligent dude. Uh, nothing matters. Uh, nothing matters because no, nothing is... Okay, whatever. This doesn't matter. Um, you just hypnotize her. How much was bail for the assault charge she made up the next morning? <laughs> uh, Would have been... Would have would have been quite how she reacted to a loud stinky fart at some point maybe mirroring that as well okay what thoughts do you think i'm having was it worth paying her three thousand dollars to do this like that's a thought i'd be having yeah that's this is so fucking fake man what thoughts do you need to account for her like thoughts? and again i look i've done some wild shit that got, has gotten girls to be initially interested right that I'm telling you that would there's no scenario where that could work. And I've even told people, you know, with the old Patrice theory where it's like you're better off just making a girl hate your guts. Yeah. Right off the jump because you can work from that. You can work back from that. If they're indifferent to you, you're fucked. So like even just being argumentative, like I picked a chick up in Tampa a few years ago by literally making fun of her from the time she started talking to me. But not like in a, oh, you fat bitch, but just in a, in a way where she was like, oh, you're watching the game? And I'm like, you watch baseball? Who the fuck watches baseball? <laughs> and I started breaking her balls about how stupid baseball is. And then it gave, she, oh, what I like the Tampa Bay. And you're like, ah, hey, you're a fucking idiot. And you have a little fun. And by then I ended up fucking that chick that night. But like, if I just walked up to a girl and I was like, <laughs> like I would have been arrested that it would have been jail. They would have been like, "You're going to jail. You can't like." Especially if they had you on a um, camera doing that. Like you, you could to, you could technically probably go to jail for some shit like that. If they had you on camera like touching some girl's face, and the girl's like, "I don't know this man. He's grabbing me." The cops might be like, "Dude, listen." I don't want to see you around here for the rest of the night. If I do, I'm going to arrest you on some bullshit. Like, I still, get the I fuck still out prefer of here. they arrest your friend that does street magic to them, but that's fine. To be safe from judgment and her sense of being judged. This guy is trying to do the fucking yogi mm -hmm. uh, crystal meditation bullshit. Wow, he's really relaxing her with that stare. Why isn't this awkward? the best here I could feel she was she softened so now I soften and show my vulnerability the little boy and me to meet and play with the little this girl. is insane this is insane the little boy and me to meet and play with the little girl and her what it's not only is he full of shit and this whole thing staged but the way he's like Filling it in is just even creepier. By the way, somebody in the chat does have a good point, and I do want to. Uh, somebody in the chat wrote, "You guys are just mad you don't crush puss like this guy." He's right. Oh, you're right. It's fair. it's fair. It's a fair point. Crushing puss and playing sports. What do they play in Odessa and Kiev? Honestly, soccer. 
uh, we just sort of sadly kick this old uh, deflated soccer ball around and cry. I'm actually mirroring her, but with more than just my posture right now. No way. Nobody's going to hold her. And now my posture is intentionally more elevated than hers. So what Showing I don't get is, right, does the black guy know it's staged? Or Because I have a feeling this guy's the type no, of guy I think that the would actually... Guy's... That's what I'm saying. I think this guy's the type that would make the effort to convince this black guy to keep giving him money. Maybe. He would keep the magic going. He probably arranged this. And then told the black guy, like, yo, watch this. And, like, I guarantee you he's not in on it at all. He's buying Strength it. and confidence. <coughs> They're not going to be in. That's not true. You just need an open heart and proper non-duality mirror training. All you need is non-duality mirror training. I, look, man, I, I don't know how many times. If you just make up work. Like, I, really, I really wish I had no soul. Because emulating these guys and applying it and making a fuckload of money would be so easy but it's just so scummy right like it's yeah. it's like televangelism and pickup artists there's so many like things that i just look at and i'm like this is too gross <laughs> non duality mirror emotionally physically and mentally using non duality mirror pairing you can see these i'm are now all a words solid that make no sense safe and open canvas to her to resolve the creative pressure she needs to paint to create and to get closer to the canvas what she's wondering where you came from he's still not talking i love this <laughs> the chat says you want to go to a country that still has outbreaks of polio and leprosy <laughs> that's, a good point. that's where you get that's where you get chicks bro because they can't because they really just want somebody who has a couple of bucks for food. He did the eyelash thing. He did the eyelash. He did the eyelash thing. This is totally fake. I know. This is a hundred percent fake. It's so ridiculous. Oh my god, Puzzle Box has a good point. Why is she mic'd up? Why is she? Because he's my. But his mic wouldn't pick up her. Because lapel mics are. Very limited range. <laughs> this is so fake. Mm -hmm. By the way, she's a hundred percent a hooker. Look at her. You can learn to do this with anyone. And she also, and, and uh, she also doesn't realize that she's being filmed. That woman is a hooker. It's not hypnosis, but it is transporting. <laughs> Man, this is incredible. Oh my god, this is <laughs> and I, the worst Are you part feeling is, embarrassed? Are the, you feeling embarrassed? I'm, feeling, I'm embarrassed. feeling embarrassed for the black guy That's because yeah, about. he's he's definitely not in on it. He was not around when this guy was making arrangements. Oh man, this is incredible. She likes my bold willingness to feel. See, women like a man who's unafraid to express himself. And also, pause. A woman like, I'm just going to tell you this right now. A woman like this, in a country like this, who's dressed like that, who looks like that, also wouldn't react this, this positively to this kind of a scenario um, in real life. Because there, there is, certain people have a look to them of somebody that has shit to do. They're on their way to go do some shit. This woman is dressed like a person who who would be like, I'm going somewhere. Like a person like that doesn't have time to be sitting around letting some fucking greasy stranger in a tank top touch their face. Like nobody who's dressed like that. If you saw a woman like that in New York City, if you asked her, hey, excuse me, do you have the time? They'd tell you to go fuck yourself. Yeah, they would. Go find a clock, you fucking loser. You don't have a phone, asshole? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking like, dick. Excuse me, do you have the time? <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Whoa, hey, Jesus sorry. Christ. See, women like a man who's unafraid to express himself. You know, you could turn it the other way around and say, this is normal. What is everything else? Yeah, man, like, this is normal, dude. Everything else is not. I fucking How hate you, him. I would really legitimately feel bad taking money from people, right, who... who are so hopeless like people who i know for a fact like i'm never gonna be able to help you right like like if you said like if you had a bunch of like weird autists like that black guy 
that were like, hey, can, can you help me get um, a girlfriend if I pay you? Like, there's scenarios in life that a normal human being should feel like, nah, man, I, I can't. I'll try to help you a little bit for free because you do seem like you need some help. But, like, to start these programs when you know that it's never going to make these guys' lives better, you're, you're, doing this, you're doing these fake things to try to hustle them. It's a grift. Like, this makes me angry when I see this shit, dude. Our way around and say, this is normal. What is everything else? And that's a good point. Somebody says, oh, lucky for him, he also found a person in Barcelona who speaks English. That's right. Maybe all these people, they're just creations in our theater. Oh, I hate this Hold guy. Hold on. Hey, wanna... hey, hey. Relax. You're never going to get pussy, bro. Just bro, give it hey, up. But what if all these people... Give it up. No, hold on. Give it up, black guy. You're going to be the only black guy to live and die without ever getting pussy. You're going to be the only eh. one. What if, what if, like, the universe, like, isn't real, dude? Like, what if it was just Every love? Every black guy is going to live and die having had more pussy than this guy. And that's a fact. Mm-hmm. They exist. Agree. What I'm about to do now is the holy grail of seduction. You ready? You ready? Are you ready for the holy grail of seduction? Is he going to sing holy grail? Because that would be dope. No. Sing the Justin Timberlake parts. No, he just drinks out of the dirty one because yeah. Jesus was a common man. <laughs> yeah, I hope, I hope this. Yeah, seriously. I hope this guy fucking drinks out of the wrong holy Turns grail. Turns into a skeleton. Fucking asshole. Hope he opens up the Ark of the Covenant. Yeah. I'm out of my head or thoughts just enough to read and then mirror her heart in a space I've created <sighs> where she feels comfortable, skipping weeks, maybe even years of getting to know someone. Wow. The Dalai Lama said, man. The Dalai Lama said what? Oh, the black guy saying, man, it's just genius. This shit is genius. I've never met anyone who, to me, is a stranger. If you can see that you're not separate from others, can naturally guide them to feel that they are not separate from you. If you want to try to get this guy on the show, I'd love to talk to him. As the Dalai Lama once said, stall him for a few minutes, I have to take a shit. <laughs> Did he say that? Probably at some point. Yeah. I'm sure he said that at least. He's been on a lot of TV shows. Yeah, right. yeah. I'm sure at one time. I'm sure he found a nicer way to say it. <laughs> yeah, let's get him on. Let's try to get this guy on. As Mahatma Gandhi once said, ew, no blacks. Just write this guy and go, hey, man, look, we're, we're two fat losers who don't ever crush puss. Oh, that'd be great. We need we your do help. That. And we'll promote you. We'll promote you on our show. Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. We'll get him on. <laughs> I would like to do that and promote a stiff in Kiev. Fast tracking the heart, I can lead where the heart already wants to go. It wants to go home. By the way, I just want to say I'm a big fan of your program, and I was watching some of your videos, and I took some of your advice, and uh, it helped me out a lot. Like, you taught me that if I hire a prostitute, that I can pick them up any way I want. They don't care. It's amazing. They even let you do butt, butt stuff if you pay them enough, yeah, like, honestly. I mean, you you paid a bitch, and you just walk up and go, hey, did you like ducktails growing up? And you they'll be like, my pussy is so wet. <laughs> So what does a woman want? It's funny because to provide what a woman wants beyond the intellect, beyond being a man, beyond your idea of being in control that you think seduction is all about, Ugh. beyond language, you might find you have to do less with our nervous thinking minds. I hate this man. But less is hard to do. Look, we don't have enough time, but next, may maybe, maybe some point this week, maybe not tomorrow, they actually has video of one of his workshops, Day Game Infield. It's him in it's him oh, I bet it's in good. I bet it's good. I bet it's good. Kiev workshop part one. And it's him going with the guy and training him. So the guy has like a headset in and he's training him to pick people up. Oh god. Okay, we'll we'll, we'll do this one. We'll do this one this week. We have to. It it looks too good. Look, we have to stop here. It's a silent pickup. Obviously, it works every single time, and I recommend that every man does this. I mean, honestly, like, 
I, I really genuinely get angry like at these guys. Like I feel bad because <clears throat> for the same way I used to get mad at televangelists, and I know some people will go, oh, well, fuck those if they're going to give money to Jerry Falwell, fuck them. They deserve to have their money taken. And I understand that 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 sort of mentality about it, but at the same time, like, it doesn't make the people who take advantage of stupid people any less scummy. Well, you're preying on them. Like, Jerry Falwell thing's a great example. Like, they're preying on old people who have a dying spouse or who have nothing left. And, you know, they, they, these people are... These are men. These are men who, who, who really... Maybe they're on a spectrum which really don't know how to communicate, not just with women, but and in they're general. So desperate. Like any yeah. young guy would be like, <clears throat> you know, look, I we all had our, you know, our ups and downs. I think if if you're not completely socially, you know, it doesn't matter, even if you're fat or if you're ugly or if you don't whatever, don't have a lot of money. And normal guys can go out there and pull something in their lifetime. It, it just will happen from you being out and being socialized. But like to to try to like to know like how important especially when you were in your early 20s like how important getting laid was how important was getting laid but it was it was a pretty important thing was to get laid when you were young and um to know that and then to like to, these young guys are just desperate to get laid and they just want some affection and you're like I got this I will fix this for you if you follow my $6,300 workshop, which is just because you know that guy also, these guys are not making a lot of money because if they were making a lot of money, they would already have solved this problem. So these are guys that probably don't have a lot of money and are giving up thousands of dollars to learn tricks that don't work based off videos that were staged. It's really fucked up.